give you a little background about interviews. One of the things about interviews that we know is that, um, well, before I talk about interviews, let me just review this. That people relate to us like, uh, because of their listening to us, we have a certain self-expression around them. Now, remember when you were doing your maps, you were kind of distinguishing how each community on your map listened to you? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I, what are some of the, how's, what are some of the listenings that people have at UJ? Um, that I'm too American. <laughs> too American. That's your Vietnamese community? Yes. Okay. And, um, and then I'm too different. It, it, I'm speaking mostly from my Vietnamese community and my family. Okay. I'm too different. Um, yeah. Got it. What about you, Amy? What are some of the listenings that you think some of the people in different communities have of you? Yeah, I don't know. I really wasn't looking for Sure. <laughs> like, just to review what I'm asking, that mm -hmm. we have different self-expressions in different communities because of how they listen to us. Mm -hmm. Like, for me, my family look, looks at, they're listening to me as I'm the youngest, so the youngest kind of, they have expectations of the youngest not being mm -hmm. responsible like that. So what are some examples of different listening you think different communities on your map might have of you? Okay, and it's fine not to know. That's why we invented interviews, right? So we can find out. <laughs> At least know where our starting place is, because we're up to we're up to transforming our communities. And you can't really transform a community unless you know where your starting place is. So, um, in an interview, you basically will be uh, picking someone in a community that can represent maybe the listening of the whole community. They might not necessarily know what everybody thinks of you, but they might be a leader and they could speak for a lot of people in that community. So you pick someone who might be considered a leader or a, a voice for that community. And then um, there's a special way to set up an interview. You really want to hear what they have to say. And you really want them to be uh, able to say whatever there is for them in kind of safely. So there's a, one way to set them up is to tell them, look, I know what I'm asking you. You could feel really uncomfortable. You could actually, you know, feel like you could hurt my feelings. And I promise you, it won't. I want to hear all of it. I, you, what you have to say to me is really going to help me be uh, able to to be a leader or to help me to be able to make an impact in this community or whatever it is that you're up to in that community. So you want to kind of set it up. And this is so cool because people never get a chance to really just be straight with other people and have the permission to do that. <laughs> Mostly we hold back and we kind of like, oh, I want to be nice and I don't want to. But, but for you to set it up that way, people can actually just be able to be and tell you what's there for them is a gift, an absolute gift. So, um, and then you've got to be a certain way in the interview because, it, you know, you could be uh, worried about what they're going to say and being, in, you know, like not really with them and in your head and if they say something, it, hurt, it might hurt, it might hurt your feelings. <laughs> But really, this is a, an amazing exercise to recreate what people say. And um, I remember a landmark forum leader, Randy McNamara. You know Randy, right? Yeah. 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 The first time I heard about this distinction, he, he had a Kleenex box and, and he had a garbage can. I'm not going to do it because now it's not <laughs> politically correct <laughs> to waste Kleenexes. But he says, it's like you're the garbage can, and so there's just he just took one Kleenex out of, and one clean, and stuck it in the garbage can and stuck it in like five or ten of these Kleenexes. We're going, that's the way it is in an interview. You are just being with another person, letting them say whatever it is for them to say, recreating them, and being that garbage can in a way for the communication without making it mean anything and just really get that they get that you got what they had to say. So, um, it's an amazing opportunity. Now you can, we're going to have you practice this in your projects. But I 
mean, this could be really practical in everyday life as well. Like you're maybe in a meeting and it didn't go so well, and you're not really sure why. You could do an interview of some of the other people afterwards to really, you know, find out what, how it was for them, what was the experience of them, what did they see out of who you were being, and get things complete. And sometimes when you get ready for an interview, you might even see that there's something to complete even before you do the interview. That um, there's something that you need to clean up from the past that you might not have ever seen it before until you get ready to interview someone. So um, that you can do that, and then have the interview. And <clears throat> so we're going to do a, a practice interview up here. I'll interview one of you, and you can take notes on. I'm going to ask questions. They don't have to be the questions you ask in your interview. You can be uh, make up any questions you want. These are um, just suggested ones that you could use. So I'm going to ask Bob. <laughs> Come on now. I'll give you the seat. <laughs> and I picked you um, because um, I think that you could really speak for the whole community okay. in a way, you know, like as a leader here. And as, even though you weren't here last week, but right. and, you know, I know that as, as who you are, as somebody who would be also really straight with you. And whatever you say, I am gonna. It's gonna be like gold for me okay. because you know I'm training and developing my, myself, and I'm committed to being the uh, powerful leader that will cause transformation in this community. All right. And like I said, uh, oh, you were gone for a second. I said we, there may be some questions I ask you that you may feel uncomfortable being straight with me, but I want you to tell me everything. And um, I want one of the coaches, if they could, to capture what he says for me so I can keep it. And um, you can't hurt my feelings. I promise I won't get upset, all right? <laughs> okay, so, and, oh, I want you to answer the questions in a, uh, kind of a particular way rather than okay. your opinion. Like if everybody in here, were, you were all sitting around having coffee and I wasn't there, what would people, what would people say about me like that? Okay. So kind of speaking for everybody. All right, so, um, and thank you for being really good to this. All right, so what would you say, everybody would say, uh, what are my strengths? Your love, your openness, your willingness to, your willingness to be with somebody on their level. Mm. Take it, take you can be taken advantage of easily. Mm -hmm. you know? not, yeah. not, not that you are, but you can you can have that. Put that Just out. because of your your generosity and your love and you can have that perception. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. And um yeah, and as far as a leader goes, that yeah, that might yeah. that yeah. doesn't work. Right. Okay. What else? Anything else? <laughs> and that you love it. And anybody who talks about this program in this area speaks of you in that regard. I really love it. <laughs> and then what do, what can people count on you for? Um, they can count on you to honor you and to, to honor your word. Yeah. They can count on you to do what you say you're going to do. 
Yeah. Um, they can count on you for not putting up with their BS. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. as a leader, you're, you are, you will have that. Got it. Yeah. Um, or they can count for not, um, not accepting small results. Mm. One last question. Sure. What can you say to me now that um, 10 years from now, I'll look back and it will have really made a difference? What can you say to me now that when 10 years ahead of the, in the future, uh, I'll look back and I'll know it really made a difference? Um, um, what can I say to you now? That I would have to say that um, this is coming to my mind is don't be shy mm -hmm. about anything that you want. I don't know. That's, that's coming to mind. Like hesitant. Yeah, hesitant. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. for you to do that here. So we're going to let just let you do it in your life. 